I have had this Sigma 70-200 f2.8 Sports for a year now and here are my thoughts. And to be honest, this lens has been an absolute beast. I've loved shooting with it and honestly, I only have two things that I don't like about it. And first of all, it is its size. Uh, it's quite large, which most of the 70-200s are, but this weighs in at around 1.8 kilos. So it's pretty heavy. And the second thing is that there is no Sony E-mount version of this lens. So right now I have a Canon EF to Sony E-mount converter on it to be able to shoot with it on my Sony camera. But those two are pretty much the only two negative parts about this lens. Apart from that, it has been such a good lens. It is weather sealed, feels super rigid. It is so well built. Uh, I absolutely love the rubber zoom rings, whatever you call them. They feel really, really good. I have a Tamron lens and I don't like those rings as much as I like the ones on this Sigma lens. Another thing that I really, really like are having these manual physical buttons here on the front of the lens. Because personally, I prefer having physical buttons uh, above having all of the settings on screens. I really enjoy the physical feeling of switching, um, of switching buttons that are like real, I guess. It is also a super sharp lens. Uh, personally, I haven't had any problem with my Sigma lenses being not sharp enough. I, I do hear some people complaining that they think their Sigma lenses isn't sharp enough, but for me, I haven't had any problems with that whatsoever. I have this Sigma 70-200. I also have a 18-35mm and no problems with that one either. So personally, I haven't had any problems with my Sigma lenses not being sharp. And this lens also has some image stabilization. And you have three different modes. You can either have it on off or one or two. If you set it to number one, it's going to be stabilization for normal photos. And number two is going to be for your panning shots. And with that stabilization mode, this lens is an absolute beast when it comes to panning photos. Uh, I've shot a lot of cars, a lot of sports and they turn out really really good. So after using this lens for about a year now, I honestly don't have a lot of bad things to say about it, apart from it being quite heavy and that there is no Sony version for it at the moment. So I've heard that they are working on a Sony version of that lens, but that the pandemic has postponed the release of the lens and that they had some kind of problem with the autofocus. Uh, but on this version, uh, the Canon version, the autofocus is working really, really good as well. And with that said, this is an absolutely amazing lens that I think a lot of people would enjoy having and shooting with. So I will leave a link to it down below and I will see you in the next one. Peace.